This is the Triton Omnicare Thermostatic Electric Shower. In the tutorial we'll be looking at changing a solenoid coil that has failed. If a solenoid coil fails, it will give no water but there will be electric to the shower. So for this purpose I'm going to isolate the shower from the electric and we're going to remove the cover. Uh, for this purpose I've taken out the top left, top right and bottom screw securing the cover in place. When you remove the cover, there is a fly lead connecting it to the main PCB in the shower. This needs to be pulled off and then we'll put the cover down to one side. The solenoid coil is located just to the mid right on the shower as you look at it. In order to get this off, we will need to remove this cable tray. This cable tray is secured by a screw at the bottom, which you just need to loosen off and one in the middle just below the solenoid inlet. This one I normally take out because it's easier to get off. Okay, I'll recover that later. This being the solenoid, it just comes off towards you. In order to check that the solenoid is faulty, we need to set the multimeter onto ohms and then go across the two connectors, like so. If you get a reading of between 3.5 and about 4.5 kilo ohms, then the solenoid coil is fine. As you can see, this one is fine, but for our tutorial, we're just gonna treat it as being faulty. If it was faulty, you would get an open line or an open circuit reading on your meter. Okay, to remove the solenoid coil, firstly we need to take off the two connectors. So they just pull off. Then we need a flat blade screwdriver, which we will fit between the body and the solenoid coil. Steadying the coil with your left hand, just turn the screwdriver through 90 degrees. This has the effect of moving it off of the stop, and then we can ease it forward towards you, like so then just take a hold and pull it off. Then get the new solenoid coil. It needs to go on in the same orientation, so we'll offer that up to the spigot that runs through the centre and just push on and you should get a nice fit and it won't move. Replace the two connectors and that's the coil changed. We will now have to build out the rest of the shower, which means putting the cable cover back. And that goes back very easily. As you can see, there's a hole there for the center one, which I've just recovered. We'll now screw that in. Once that's screwed in, we can then offer up the cover. First of all, we need to put in the fly lead. So, like so, the fly lead has serrated on one side and is flat on the other side. So the flat side goes towards the terminal blocks, like so. And then just make sure it's fully home, which it is. Turn the cover over and as you do, just pull the cable to one side to prevent it from being trapped. Place the cover on. Then we would normally now put the screws back in, but as I say for this demonstration, we'll be, be fine. I'll restore the power, like so, and we'll turn the shower on, and we've got water flowing. Okay, that now ends the tutorial. If you'd like to know more about the Triton Omnicare Thermostatic Electric Shower or any other shower in the Triton range, please go to the Triton website or the Triton YouTube channel.